Poco. These guys um, had a couple of different, almost incarnations. Uh, this is, of course, Heart of the Night, a Paul Cotton tune from the, the album that finally got them some hits. After 10 albums, I think this might have been the 11th. Um, after 10, they had sort of, they had pretty much disbanded. Rusty was gone. Oh, no, Rusty was there. Sorry. Richie was gone. And um, Timothy B. Schmidt, everybody else had, had flown the coop. Messina a long time before. Anyway, and um, actually Paul Cotton and Rusty Young had sort of decided to just make a go of it as the Cotton Young Band. So they were putting a few things together. And, um, and Poco had just toured with Al Stewart in 1977 on Al's um, Indian Summer Tour, I believe. And or opening for him, and um, no, no, it was the it was the year of the cat tour. Never mind. So, but um, uh, they had a couple of tunes that were going to be that were the record company got way behind. They decided to make it a Poco album instead of the Cotton Young Band album, and so they ended up recruiting a drummer and bass player from Al's travel band. The drummer was Steve Chapman, who was still Al's manager, by the way. Anyway, okay, enough of that tangent. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and then they put out this album, Legend, that came out in 1978. And it did finally hit the charts for them after a lot of years of just hovering and not really quite being able to click. Now, some of it was the poppy sound of this tune and uh, Crazy Love. But um, anyway, so the sound really got very different from the country rock feel that they'd uh, started back when the Buffalo Springfield broke up and they started picking up the pieces. I'll get all back to that another another song for another day. Anyway, um, we're going to talk about the, uh, a few different ways to play this, particularly more the way you'll see it. You'll see that they when when they did it live um, in later incarnations than uh, the studio version. Now the studio version is really interesting because somehow it is slowed down and it's a half step low so i i saw some charts for this and everybody's saying you got to play it in d flat you got to play it in this you got a capo here and put it in c chord it's in d folks they just slowed down the tape and it lowered it a half step so it's very easy to play a couple of chords in the key of d d d major seven there's some g's and b minors f sharp minors and e minors and that's it oh there's an a minor outside of the key when it gets into the bridge we'll talk about that um so anyway we're going to walk through the little intro. And you're really just hearing, matter of fact, I'll talk about that a little bit. We're really just hearing this four note descending melody heading to a G chord. It's almost like it's just a descending bass thing. So this is not... Um, revolutionary in terms of chord progression or, or anything going on, but it's catchy. And then we have a pretty cool syncopated um, changing uh, pattern in the chorus where it goes into the three minor chords in the key, and the timing on that's a little bit tricky. So that's what we'll be breaking down over the next couple of segments, and by the time you get through with this, you should be able to play Paul Cotton's cool tune, Heart of the Night. 